welcome back, everybody. If you're just joining us today, we're delivering to you an exclusive interview. We are joined by Mandy Allwood, the 31-year-old woman from London, England, who is five months pregnant with eight babies and says she plans to have them all. Uh, this gentleman had a question for the couple, for Paul and Mandy. Paul, I'd like to know uh, what kind of work do you do to supply for eight babies plus two, one of yours and one of hers? Well, um, I'm in the property game. I'm, I'm not in the Mike Tyson league for um, earning money, um, but um, I, I, I'm already looking after uh, one, two, three, four. Um, so eight, another eight uh, won't be a problem. Paul, what do you what what do you do? <laughs> I'm what you call a property consultant. You're a property I buy, consultant. I buy properties and sell them for a profit. Okay. What do you say? Um, Mandy, there's a comment. You need to get a man and not a boy because if you want to play games, you can play games with your kids. Two is enough. One is enough. Eight, you're not going to make it. Mm. Point blank. So. Mm. Okay. What well, do you say? My question is for Mandy. I want to know, is the reason why you're having these eight babies is to keep him or to make your relationship closer? Mm. No, not at all. Because um, with any man you're with, if they want to go um, leave you or go off with another woman, they're going to leave anyway. You can't buy love. Um, so with any relationship, you know, um, you've just got to, you know, keep your man. And um, um, if they're going to leave, they're going to leave. So what can you do? Um, my relationship um, broke down with my husband um, only from the reasons that... Um, Basically, he was violent to me. Um, I was in an eight-year uh, relationship with him. Got married for eight years. Met him when I was 17. Um, so why won't Paul marry you? Paul, why won't you marry her? <laughs> no, it's not Paul. It's not just all Paul. Well, don't not... you want to hear this answer, Mandy? Paul, why have yeah, you not no, considered... Because we've already discussed it, because... When I've had, um, I've been married since I was 21, and um, I, I really don't want to get married. You don't want I, to get married, Mandy? No, I don't. And really? If tomorrow to get married, I wouldn't, mm -hmm. I wouldn't marry him. What do you say? Um, Ma ma marriage, marriage don't make you a good father. I, I'm <laughs> well, I'm just, cu I'm just curious to know, how do each of your children feel about that? I mean, I kind of feel like you're serial breeders, you know, each of you have children all over the place, and, you know, <laughs> Do they care? That's, I mean, that's your opinion you know. To I'm, I'm, do they? That's your opinion. So the question is, how are the other children dealing with this 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 announcement that mom's about to have eight more? Well, the, the, the eldest of the other children is six years old. Um, then, then there's a f um, Mandy's other, Mandy's son is five years old. My other two are, are three years old and um, nine months old. Oh. And they're two. Paul, what, Paul, what do the other, what do the other women in your life think about the fact that Mandy is having eight of your kids? What is their no, reaction? The other women in my life is there's two. One's my mother, and the other one's the mother of my two children. Okay. The thing is, well, a lot. A lot of people think that all of this is a big money scam. There are lots of folks who are criticizing the couple because of that. I'd like you to welcome Max Clifford there, who is the press agent who sold Mandy's story to London's News of the World tabloid. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. I'd like to know why you decided to sell the story. Um, well, it's very simple. The story was about to come out. Um, Paul had uh, let people know <clears throat> in the Midlands where both Mandy and Paul lived, uh, this was going to happen and the story was about to break. Now if the story is going to break it means the whole world's media is going to descend on you. Uh, if that's the case then you need to be in a position where you can look after yourself. The best way to look after yourself is to get the biggest newspaper in this country, and in fact the biggest selling newspaper in the world, to wrap themselves around you and give Mandy the protection and the care she's been getting for the last uh, six weeks. Max, question from the audience. I have a question for Max and Paul. I'd like to know if you feel like you hit the lottery. I read that you're going to get 150,000 for each baby. That's 1.2 million. That's a nice little lottery. It's easy to answer. You know, you're, you're totally wrong. There's no discussions been made along the lines of how many babies that Mandy might so have. So what is the deal? 
The deal is very simple. Mandy and Paul are being paid a lot of money for their exclusive story. A story which has created huge worldwide interest. I've made sure that the media pay for the interviews. Can such you give us tonight. an idea of how much? Because I hear they could make as much as a million dollars just on the residual effects of having the baby. No, a lot no, of different actually. deals. Well, see, this is where you get misquoted. Because you sell a story to one newspaper over here, all of the other newspapers that don't get the story then attack you and try and discredit you, even though they desperately wanted the story themselves. Mm -hmm. That's how the system works over here. The fact is, I've said that if Mandy, God willing, is going to give birth to eight healthy babies in the not-too-distant future, they're going to need something like a million pounds worth of finance, your aid, sponsorship, over the next 10 years to bring up eight children. Now, in Max, other words, are you going to be there still trying to help them get some money down the road when these kids are starting to go to school and all those bills are mounting up and it's out of the news and it's old news? Are you still going to be there helping this family? Well, um, most of the people I look after, from the time I launched the Beatles in 1962, I've been around for year after year after year. I represent some of the biggest stars in the world. Like O.J. Simpson, you got to Oxford over there in London. That's quite right, and it worked very well for O.J. Simpson. <laughs> it was a great success for O.J. Simpson. So he's the first to admit. Mm -hmm. It's the first time in a long time that people have actually listened to what the man had to say, and he didn't get the total prejudice he gets in your country. Mm. Oh. On that note, <laughs> oh, some hands went up over that one. <laughs> When we come back, Max, I think we have some uh, responses to what you said. We're going to also meet a doctor who says that Mandy, that this is really, really very, very serious. The doctor who says that Mandy could die, so could the babies, if she has octuplets. We're going to talk about the dangers and the great risks that this couple is taking right after this.